Now Jones. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Throwing Jones. Finding Bourne here over the middle. They'll give him four yards there. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Looking to throw. Jones. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback. But last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 24. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. A run for the former Seahawk. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Well, this is uh, really an interesting matchup here in week one. Of course, you got the Super Bowl 52 rematch to talk about. No Nick Foles or Tom Brady on the field today. But for the Eagles, it's been a long wait to get back at it again since the loss to the Chiefs back in February. And no Zach Hurts. Was it a touchdown? Was it not a touchdown? In New England, they're still upset over that call. But hey, this game is going to be a blast because the Eagles, they didn't feel like they put enough pressure on the quarterback in the Super Bowl. They want to really get after him in this one. Jones on the return. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, well, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero, like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear? Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Inside give to Elliott. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and ten. 
And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On the option left, it's Hurts. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards that time, and a first down on the keeper. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Inside handoff, Penny. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. In search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. And we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. A gain of nine yards. First down, Philadelphia. From the gun, a give to Penny. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. From the nine, second and five. Throwing his hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. So the completion good for just three. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll set up a throw. They throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. That's what I see so far with this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Rashad Penny, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. You get down this deep, Charles, you hate to settle for a field goal. They roll the dice on fourth down, really just hoping to get that first. But as it turns out, they take it all the way into the end zone. You mentioned that they took a little bit of a gamble there. Think about it this way. Most teams throw the ball in this situation in the NFL, so they really gambled with a running play, and boy, did it pay off. Pay dirt. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England's offense set to go. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. 
Operating from the gun. Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Jones now on first and 10. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To throw again on second down. Jones. And that is incomplete here. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep a ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it, is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep giving it to him and let him do his work. <laughs> it's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Here's Jones. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on a six-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Well, they've got the lead, but it's certainly not a big one. And how do you keep control of that lead? Certainly not by that last play there. They gave up a big sack on the first play of this drive. Now it's double the distance to the first down marker. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts, so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And they may be content to take this 7-0 lead into the locker room. We'll see. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. He's just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. the play fake. Here's Hurts. And seeing no way to throw, he chucks this one away from home and complete. Now it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletion. 
possessions. This time they stay on the ground. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Here's Jones on first down. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. Where it was the home team who were able to hold serve and get a victory in their stadium? Brian Robinson, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Raiders. Jerry Judy, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City, see what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Christian Watson, a touchdown reception. We saw a strong first half from the veteran running back, Rashad Penny. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing. as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. On the return, Boston Scott. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Second half begins with a run from Penny. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. They go play action with Hertz. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Only five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. From the 32 now. Here's first and ten. He'll look to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Penny up the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They keep it with Penny on first down. 
And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Tim Moore there and another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Penny, a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable... Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're starting to think, gosh, maybe points aren't going to happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps, to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown at them. They'll run with Penny here out of the shotgun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And that's on Pro Bowl center Jason Kelsey. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Here's a give to Penny. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 90 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. A well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Now back to throw. Open, and he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith from 21 yards away. And the Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. 
the fade route that seems to be coming more and more popular in the NFL. What makes it a success? When you have an athletic, acrobatic receiver who knows how to go up and get the football, all you're asking your quarterback to do is put it up there where he can get it and no one else. Very difficult to defend. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now 21 to nothing. On oh, the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And only Marcus able to Jones get this to the 19, the so probably should have opted for the touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second down and six now. Back to throw. Jones. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And taken down just shy of the 40. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Penny. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Holding offense. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They'll send Brown in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Here's Jones on the re Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. It's been a struggle all game for them on offense. This was a chance to maybe provide a little bit of a spark with a punt return. Unfortunately, <laughs> that spark got doused. Yeah, and you call special teams the third phase, but you see here it can be the first phase sometimes. That is so true, right? It can, it can ignite it one way or the other, and boy, that didn't help them at all. It's a loss of four on the first down play. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now they'll run it again with Penny. Only a yard on the gain there, and that'll set up third and 13. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. 
And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. Give him nine on the carry, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The kick by Elliott is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And this taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. New England trying to get a place on offense. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Short pass caught by Henry. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's second and inches at the 27-yard line. Looking to throw. Jones got the connection here to board. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. So they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. Oh, yeah.